Creative Katie, Karen Virgil here. Welcome to my version of the Index Card a Day Challenge and my Create Daily series. This is a week three prompt, yellow, and the techniques that I'm going to use in the creation of this iCAD is reversing the stencil and getting brights on a black background. So I'm going to put a coat of black gesso, and this is TCW, the Crafters Workshop Black Gesso. It is smooth and creamy. It is absolutely lovely. And I'm just painting over a gel print that I had on one of my uh, pages from my repurposed Happy Planner. This is an old Happy Planner that I use and I'm just turning into an art journal or my quick art journal, quick quote, my quote journal, I should say. So I'm putting a coat of black gesso and you can see one coat covers this all. And I'm not too worried that I can see some texture from the pink that was on there. That's just going to add later on. So now I've grabbed my white gesso and I'm using a makeup sponge and I'm using this Crafters Workshop stencil, Sunflower Mandela. And I'm putting a coat of the white gesso through the stencil. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I'm kind of reversing the stencil. I want the narrow lines to be black, not white so I could have gone afterwards and painted them out all black but I find this is almost easier for me now when you're applying it you can use white acrylic paint I'm using gesso it the coverage tends to be a little bit faster and as I use the makeup sponge I'm putting the paint on dabbing it off on the glass media mat and then applying it and two light coats is always better than one really wet coat. If you get the paint and it's really, really wet on the makeup sponge, it may seep under and give you less than what you want. And sometimes that's okay. In this case, I want to be very careful because I want to get those crisp black lines that are going to se separate and show off this stencil. And since the prompt was yellow, I deliberately chose this sunflower Mandela. And the quote, if you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. So everything went together. If you go back, you're going to get more opaque covering. You can see how the black really pops. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to use this stencil or use a similar stencil in a different way. And you'll see me get the lines of the stencil in a different way. Now, I decided that I'm going to grab my script stamp and I'm going to stamp through the stencil to the background. And this is going to put the script on the stenciled parts. Now, mostly I've, I've found that the ink, the archival ink does come off the stencil, but it doesn't in any way cause any problems, even if it's there, because it's flat. It doesn't build up. After a while, the acrylic paint builds up and you do need to clean it. So now I've grabbed a collection of yellows burnt up. Um, I've got some opaque yellows and some more translucent yellows. And I want to mix those on the makeup sponge as I do this sunflower. I have Naples yellow, which is a very opaque, creamy yellow. Cadmium yellow, bright yellow, 
And if you don't have the right shade, I mean, you can mix them on here. You can mix a little bit of orange. You can mix a little bit of brown. And I'm not trying to be too terribly perfect either I, in, in that I want complete coverage. I want different shades of yellow and this golden sunflowery color. So I'm going to add this quinacridone magenta, and I know when I mix it with the wet yellow paint, it is going to turn kind of a rusty, corally color. It's not going to come out and stay pink. You can see I've taped along the edges. That helps me reposition the stencil, and it's also tacking it down a little bit so it doesn't move. This stencil is very, very fine. And I want to preserve those black, bold um, parts. There isn't much paint on my makeup sponge. Very, very light. And I'm building up the color till I get what I like. You can try this technique with any stencil and any color combination. But these colors are anagalous. They will be found next to each other on the color wheel. And I therefore I know that they're not going to make brown or a, an ugly color that I may not like. And when you zoom in and when you see the final pictures, you're going to see, you're going to still see some of that script stamp peeking through. If I wanted it darker, I would have put it on after I had stenciled the colors, like right now. But I just wanted little hints of it. I didn't want it to be up, up front. Now, when you do this, you do get little rings of white because it's an, not exactly a perfect but I like that effect, kind of the halo effect around the stencil. I could take a brush with some thinned paint and paint out the, some of the areas of white if I didn't like them. So I took the, the quote and did some fussy cutting around it to get rid of some of the white. I didn't mind a little bit because it, it works well with the halo effect that I've got going on. And this is from my sentiment pack number two. And I'm going to put a link to the video where I'm showing all my various sentiment packs. These are digital PDF files that you can purchase. And then you can colorize and do all sorts of different things with on your art journal pages or canvases or whatever you're using, doing. And the nice thing about the digital sentiments is you can print them out on whatever paper you want. You can play with the sizes a bit if you have the, depending on your printer. And it's nice to have these at the ready. I print off the sentiment packs and I have them in a binder. I have some of them that are cut out in, a, in another container. And it just makes it easy when it comes to creating here. I knew I had a sunshine quote and I just flip through, find the one I want in the size I want. And then away I go. I'll also put a link to my technique tag video where I'm using fonts in different ways. And I show what you can do with the black and white font that you print out. So here I'm just playing around with the arrangement. I 
I don't want, I want everything to work together. So once I get it, I'm going to take a picture of it. And then if I do anything else and I move them off, I have an idea. Taking a picture is also a good plan because then you can look at it and say, oh, do I like this one better or this one better? I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer. So I'm using the gold and I'm going put, putting the stencil back on in place. And I'm just putting a little bit of gold. Again, I'm not looking for complete coverage at all. Just want that little bit of shimmer to add to the overall effect. And the gold is often very translucent. So it's not going to change the color underneath. Using, after I glued them down with the gel medium matte finish, I'm just using my fine line bottle just to edge the page. And that's just part of my finishing process. And I love these fine line bottles. I'll put a link to the stencil and any product that I've used in here in case you're interested in taking a look at it. Thank you for shopping my Amazon links. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's close ups of the finished project. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. See you for the next one.